This is the video for lesson 3 on my website, Place Value to 100. We use what's called a base 10 math system, and what that basically means is that we have 10 different digits that we work with, the digits 0 through 9. Now, we know that when we count, we would of course start 1, 2, 3, eventually we'll get to 7, 8, and 9. And when we get to 10, we're not allowed to squeeze two digits into one column. So what we do is we have to write a zero in what we call the ones column. We'll talk about that in a minute. And we have to put our one to the left. We have to start a new column called the tens column. Now we will keep counting 11, 12, 13. Eventually we'll get to 97, 98, 99. And again, we now have to say 100 we can't fit three digits into just two columns. So we have to put a zero in the ones column, a zero in the tens column, and we have to start a new column for the hundred. That's basically how our place system works. Now, let's take a look at what our columns really mean. Our ones place is always on the right. Some people call that the units place. Just think of it as a place for like one dollar bills. Now to the left of that we have the tens place. And again, think of that as where we'll put our ten dollar bills. To the left of that we have the hundreds place. And think of that as a place where we'll put our hundred dollar bills. Now in later lessons we'll expand the chart, but for now we'll just take a look at this. Let's think about the number 739. I'm going to write that number like this. Let's see what this really means. We have nine in the ones place, so think of that as just nine singles, nine dollar bills. We have three in the tens place, and that really means that we have three tens. Think of it as three ten dollar bills, which actually makes thirty. And we have seven in the hundreds place. Think of it as seven hundred dollar bills. That actually makes seven hundred. So when we say the number 739, what we really mean is 700 plus 30 plus 9, which equals 739. That's how our place value system works. Now make sure you feel fully comfortable with the idea that we're not allowed to put these digits any place we feel like. Some students think that it just doesn't matter the order that we write these digits in, and that's very wrong. It's very important where we put each digit because it has a significance depending on what place it's in. This is just a very basic introduction to place value. We'll work with this again and again in later lessons. In particular, we'll expand the place value chart to the left so we can deal with bigger numbers like thousands and ten thousands. And we'll expand the place value to the right, and that's how we actually start to work with decimal numbers. We'll talk about this more in upcoming lessons.